Hey guys, thanks for being with me. I'm really excited to be starting this channel and thanks for tuning in. Um, so I had the inspiration to start this channel because I'm a long-term meditator and a student of Buddhism. And through my many years of meditation, I noticed that almost every time I bring it up to people, uh, people always basically have a very similar response, which is, ah, I, I, I can't meditate, it's, it's just too hard, or I'm too anxious, or I can't sit still. Um, and, you know, I think it's, it's too bad because what I hear when people tell me that is what I'm hearing underneath their, um, their reaction is that essentially that it's something they're interested in or that they'd like to do, but they just don't feel capable or they feel like it's too intimidating. So that's why I'm starting this channel so that you can meditate with me and um, we can break it down into something more manageable. Um, it's really not as difficult as you might think. Um, it's actually something quite simple, um, but as we like to say, uh, simple doesn't mean easy. So it is something challenging, but really rewarding. And you know, most especially, my opinion is if you have something in life that you're interested in doing, then you know, why, why stop? Why or why not try it? And even if it's not something that you feel like you're going to want to continue with, at least you can give it a shot and you know, have a real grasp on like, oh yeah, you know, I know what meditation is, or that is something that I can go to when I feel um, inspired to. So just a little bit about the format of the videos, I'm going to basically be giving maybe a short talk. Um, it could be something more conceptual or oftentimes it's going to be something more practical, especially in the beginning. Um, tips, uh, common questions, common concerns, and then probably towards about half of, halfway through the video, I will be actually going through the practice with you guys. So um, hopefully, hopefully um, regardless of what level of meditation you might be at, that that's going to be something helpful and hopefully fun because, uh, you know, humans are better at doing things together. So, so let's do it. So um, that said, I just want to say uh, I am building um, kind of a community and I'm working on building an app as well. So if it's something that you think you might be interested in the future as I develop this, um, feel free to go ahead and look in the um the description below and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my email if you'd like to send me an email that would be great because then I could um, go ahead and send you information on news updates on things as they develop and uh, we can be in better contact so um, that and in future videos I'll also be just be putting useful information down there I'll, I'll probably always mention it but if I'm mentioning any books or any talks or any teachers or any uh, sort of things like that any resources then you can always feel free to look in the comments section below. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> why do we meditate? Um, we meditate so that we can look at our own mind and look at ourselves and learn something about ourselves. And more importantly, we also meditate just so we can be here, just so we can be here and now where we are and experience whatever that is. Um, sometimes our mind might be crazy. Sometimes it might be calm. Sometimes it might seem that everything's okay, but when we sit down to meditate, it's like, wow, with all this chaos. And other times the opposite. It might seem like everything is so overwhelming in life. And this is often my experience. Once I meditate, <clears throat> once I sit down to meditate, it's like, oh, wow. You know, everything seems so uh, out of control. But, uh, you know, it doesn't mean it's easy, but again, it's something that, that is within my grasp to solve or to tackle. And um, it really makes life a lot easier. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of times people are confused about a little bit that meditation is a practice. It's something that we work on. And it's not something that you just should sit down for the first time and just do it perfectly. Um, that seems to be in a lot of ways that biggest sort of misconception about meditation. So <clears throat> that said, um, I'd like you to go ahead and take um, a comfortable seat. And that can be sitting on the floor as I'm doing right now. Um, if you're doing that, um, go ahead and uh, depending on what kind of floor you have, you know, if you have a carpet, it might even still be a little bit uncomfortable, but you can go ahead um, 
and put a blanket down or put some towels down on the carpet. And then most importantly, if you're sitting on the floor, you wanna have some cushions that you're sitting on so that um, you elevate your hips. Um, a big tip about the posture of meditation is that you always want your hips to be above your knees. So you kind of want this angle where this is your hips, these are your knees. And it doesn't have to be a specific angle, but you basically you don't wanna be sitting flat because um, that's basically very hard on your back. So um, the other thing is also you're very welcome to sit in a chair. Um, generally, you know, a lot of the modern, in modern times, like a lot of us aren't used to sitting on the floor. Um, you know, that's def definitely something that comes a lot from Asian cultures is um, sitting on the floor. And given that, oftentimes um, their hips are much more open and it's easier to do that. But, um, you know, a lot of times, uh, depending on where you're at in the world, um, it might be more, more uh, comfortable for you to sit in a chair. Um, I do think there's a lot of benefits to sitting on the floor on a cushion um, or a few cushions. Again, it doesn't have to just be one, but, um, <clears throat> sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, but go ahead and you know do what's most comfortable for you. Um, if you are sitting on a chair, um, go ahead and make sure you're sitting on towards the edge of the seat of the chair. And um, your feet are also, you want them to be flat on, on the floor, so you're not crossing your feet. So you have a kind of stable um, feeling in your posture. Um, so from there, given that we're seated now, either on the floor or on a chair, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step. So the first step, again, was sort of that, that, that foundation, the, the base, the hips, the, the kind of root of our seat. And from there, we're gonna work on growing up like a, like a tree, okay? So we have our roots down and now the tree, uh, the trunk of the tree, which is our spine. So this is something that, uh, again, is very easy sometimes people to, to have a misconception. It's not about um, sort of forcing your spine up. Um, sometimes when people do that, they push their chest out and, they, and it's very kind of rigid. But when you have a straight spine, um, the, uh, we're designed as humans to have, to, to be erect when we stand or when we sit. So we're just kind of tapping into that biology. So a great way to do that is as we're sitting, that you can, first of all, just kind of relax. Just relax the muscles in your back, around your spine, and see if you can kind of find a vertical posture. And as you find that vertical feeling, that see if you can also relax the muscles around the spine so that we're not exerting ourselves. You don't have to force ourselves to be upright. This is actually our natural position. And also just noticing how that makes you feel. For me, as soon as I said that, it's everything kind of calmed down. So we're feeling our, the root, our legs, our hips firmly, either on the ground or in the chair. And our spine is growing out of that stability. One thing you might notice is as you're sitting, your spine might start to round, you might start to kind of fall back a little bit in the lower back. And here, it's important, don't, don't freak out, don't push, but see if from the, from the very base of your spine you can kind of push forward. So you're actually kind of turning your hips forward, leaning forward just a little bit, and then generally that you can kind of pull yourself out of that um, falling back feeling. And letting that verticalness rise all the way up through your chest, through your neck. And as we come to the neck, we're gonna let our chin just fall just a little bit slightly down. And at this point in the video, and as I'll notice, um, as I'll note in, in a lot of my videos, you, you won't have to watch me. <laughs> it's, it's good if you wanna watch me at the beginning because I'll be sort of talking to you. Um, but uh, as we get in more into the meditation, feel free to just ignore me. You can even put the, the camera to the side if, you, if you'd like, or um, your camera, your, your screen, your, your uh, laptop, your phone, whatever you're watching on. So from here, you're gonna drop your chin. And by doing that, you are kind of making this um, 
circle in a way where we have the back straight coming up the upper back into the neck and if we kind of keep our head up it's a little bit more exertive but if we drop our chin it allows everything to kind of relax again finding this natural relaxation not not forcing it if you don't feel it it's okay just see if you can tap into these tips about the posture And from here, we're gonna do something a little bit weird, which is the instruction is to place the tip of your tongue where your gums meet your upper teeth. So just that point where your teeth are here and then your gums kind of like making this, this joining. You're just gonna place the tip of your tongue there. It's a little bit more of an energetic thing, I won't get into it right now, but it's supposed to help the energy cycle through the body. It doesn't matter, we don't need to think about that right now. And then lastly, I, will gonna, I am gonna do a video more specifically on the posture, so I, even though I am going over a lot right now, uh, I, want make, I wanna make sure everyone knows what to do with their body, because that is a big concern. But you're just gonna take your hands and place them on your, um, on your thighs, just about midway. And then let your, let your arms just fall straight down. And just feeling what that feels like in your body. Have you ever sat like this before? Maybe it's the first time. Maybe it's the first time you've paid so much attention to where to place your limbs. How does that feel? Does it feel nerve wracking? Does it feel calming? And again, just noticing the sensations in the body. And from here, we're gonna start to actually do the practice. Then this, of course, the posture is a huge part of the practice. But usually what gets people confused is what do they do with their thoughts? What do they do with their mind? So the practice is that we're just going to place our focus. We're gonna be placing our focus throughout the, the duration of the meditation on our breath. You can actually meditate on any object can be a visual something, it could be sound, but generally most commonly and as a foundation we will use the breath. Why? Because it's there, it's easy, it's free, it's always available. And as you'll notice, most likely it's something that just by focusing on it, it helps to slow us down. It helps sharpen that observation of where are we, what's happening now. And the instruction is that we're going to breathe only through our nose. And do your best to make the breath silent. So we're not taking these big, big, deep. No, that's not what we're doing here. There are forms of meditation that include that, etc. But for right now, we're just breathing in and breathing out. And as you'll notice, inevitably, our mind will start to drift. Am I doing it right? What's for dinner? How long is this video going to go on? Or how much time do I have left? And that's all okay. And I think that if you're going to get one thing out of this video and about this beginning instruction, is that it's okay when you, when you stop meditating. Okay? 
because that is actually when we actually engage in the practice of meditation. So when we notice that our mind is somewhere else, just carefully and gently bringing our thoughts, bringing our focus back to the breathing. And you might have to do this 30, 80, 100 times. Usually there's not that many chances to, to get distracted in maybe a two minute of meditation. But however many times it happens, it's okay. And that's really the most important thing for you to know if you're just starting. It's okay to get distracted, to get off course. What matters is just bringing our breath back. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that for about two minutes. I know we've been kind of doing it already, but a little bit more focus now, focusing just in the practice. Feeling the ground, the pelvis firmly in the ground or in our seat. The spine coming up strongly out of that. The arms resting by your sides, palms on your thighs. The chin slightly down. The tongue touching your gums, the upper gums. Mouth is slightly open and we're breathing just through our nose, breathing in and breathing out. Just noticing what feelings we feel in our body as we sit. And just following our breath as it comes in and as it goes out. And again, when our mind wanders to something else, another thought, an emotion, an anxiety, it's okay. Whatever it is, that's just okay. Just gonna come right back. Just gently, over and over, coming back to the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And the general rule is that if it's something that's happening in the room with you, then that's okay that if you, if you switch your focus to that thing. The focus ultimately is our breath. But you probably heard a plane going overhead just now. So if you're breathing and then you notice a noise, that you can go ahead and allow your ears, your hearing to go to that sound. The difference is that when thoughts come up, when sounds come up, uh, that we're not engaging those things. That we're just allowing that thought to arise 
we're acknowledging and it's like, okay, I'm thinking. And then we're just going to slowly, gently bring ourselves back to the breath. Or again, if we are listening to that sound, we're just, just actually listening only to the sound. Doing our best not to engage in a commentary on that sound. So that's it for today. We're gonna to be taking very small steps. I hope that was helpful. And um, definitely if you have any comments, um, please feel free, uh, especially to put them in the comments below if, if you feel comfortable doing that. Um, it helps me to see you know, what are people are, are curious about or maybe struggling with. But also um, it helps, I think it helps people feel like, okay, I'm not, I'm not the only one maybe with questions or struggling, so. If you feel inspired, um, please put them down below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.